Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Bear Dog An ancient jawbone belonging to a monstrous creature from prehistoric days was recently discovered in France. This creature has been described as a bear dog, and scientists have named it after a child-murdering cyclops. The bear dog lived all throughout the world 7.5 million years ago. It lived in North America, Europe, Asia, even Africa. It was a powerful predator, a carnivore with jaws that could tear and rip flesh, peeling meat right off the bone. The newest discovered specimen was found in the Pyrenees mountain range of Europe, and it belongs to an entirely new species. Bear dogs all belong to the family Amphisionidae, of which all are extinct. And although they are called bear dogs, they don't belong to the bear or dog family. But they did possess features which are similar to both. For example, they had heavy bear-like bodies. They walked flat-footed like bears, but they had muscly legs and long snouts like dogs. This newest species has been named Tartarocyon, which comes from the one-eyed giant Tartaro, who ate children in Basque mythology. The giant supposedly lived in France in the 8th century BC, which is fitting since that's where the fossil was found. The most spectacular part of the fossil is definitely its teeth. According to paleontologists at the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Science, its teeth were so strong and sharp that it could have crushed bones into dust as it consumed entire animals. The creature weighed upwards of 700 pounds and lived from between 23 million and 5.3 million years ago. Number 9. Matsoidae Matsoidae isn't a single snake, but a family of extinct Gondwanan snakes spanning the fossil record from the Upper Cretaceous to the Late Pleistocene eras. The snakes in this family are the most primitive that ever lived, including extinct boas, pythons, and the legendary Gigantophis. Maybe you've heard about the Titanoboa, allegedly the biggest snake that ever lived, at a whopping 42 to 50 feet long. We don't know exactly how big this thing grew, but modest estimates have placed it at about 33 feet. That would make it slightly smaller than the Titanoboa, unless of course scientists are wrong. It did live millions of years before the Titanoboa, and it's difficult to properly gauge size based on a small sampling of bones. For example, only around 30 Titanoboa skeletons have been found, and scientists still can't figure out how many vertebrae they even had, although they do estimate about 250. That's the issue with these things. Scientists can only really make educated guesses. At the end of the day, if the Gigantophis wasn't bigger than the Titanoboa, it was definitely a close call. The Titanoboa lived between 60 and 58 million years ago, why the Gigantophis lived as recently as 40 million years ago. Number 8. Megalania Prisca According to the Australian Museum, the Megalania Prisca is the largest terrestrial lizard that ever lived. It was a gigantic monitor lizard that would make the Komodo dragon look like a tiny baby. It was first described back in 1859 by Sir Richard Owen, who determined it lived throughout the forests and grasslands of Australia. It would have been an exceptionally fierce predator, and just like its distant cousin, the Komodo dragon from Indonesia, just about everything within range was up for eating. The gigantic lizard would have feasted on mammals, giant snakes, and even other reptiles if it felt like it. It could grow to be over 15 feet long, making it roughly the size of a freakishly large alligator. What makes it even more terrifying was the possibility that it may have been able to climb trees. Actually, some scientists believe the Megalania might have been an ambush predator. That means that if it were alive today, moving through the Australian wilderness would be like playing Russian roulette. The gigantic lizard could have hid itself in the underbrush, then lashed out with toxic saliva and razor-sharp teeth. With just one bite, its venom would have been fatal. We don't actually know if it was venomous or not, but scientists think it was. Number 7. Floppy-Eared Dog Monster A totally new creature was recently discovered in the Burgess Shale in Canada, and it doesn't look like anything scientists have found before. It's been described as a floppy-eared hound, and yet it was a marine creature that looked like a bizarre mutant shrimp with half the body of a centipede. There's really no easy way to describe it, as it would have looked like something that came from a faraway galaxy, like an alien creature that swam through space. It's called Balhuticaris Volte, and it's a gigantic bivalved arthropod. 
That means it's very distantly related to the crustaceans of today. It's kind of like the great-great-grandparent of crabs and shrimps. Its carapace is particularly unique in that it actually grows over its head and drapes down past its body like a pair of huge floppy ears, similar to a basset hound. The creature lived 500 million years ago during the Cambrian explosion. The explosion started about 541 million years ago and lasted until 485 million years ago. It was one of the most diverse times in Earth's history. This was a time when the ocean was blooming with unfathomable life forms, strange and indescribable monsters of every shape and form. These creatures are well represented in the Burgess Shale, which is a huge deposit of fossils from that same period. Scientists believe there was a great mudslide which trapped thousands upon thousands of creatures in muck to be preserved. This is a fascinating hypothesis because it would mean that most of the fossils we found from the Cambrian explosion came from just one spot. It would mean we have barely 1% documented of all the crazy animals that existed at the dawn of complex life. Number 6. Andrew Sarkis In the spring of 1923, a group of museum researchers traveled to Inner Mongolia to hunt for jewels. But instead of finding treasure in the form of minerals, they discovered a rich treasure trove of fossils. One of the young paleontologists in the group, Kan Chuen Pao, came across the gigantic skull of a monstrous beast. It was unlike anything they'd seen before, at least three feet long and complete with large teeth. One of the researchers immediately decided the animal was a carnivore, but others in the camp disagreed. This led to an argument, as some believed the skull belonged to an extinct giant pig. They took the skull back to the museum and named it Andrusarchus mongoliensis, in honor of the expedition leader, Roy Chapman Andrews. To this day, the skull found in 1923 is the only specimen of the species. Everything we know about this dinosaur comes from this one sample. And yet scientists have been able to figure out that the dinosaur lived 45 million years ago, that it was about 6 feet high at the shoulders and 12 feet long in total. If true, that would make the Andrusarchus the largest meat-eating mammal known to science. It would have looked like a mix between a pig and a hippo, and was perhaps even distantly related to whales. And now for number 5, but first want to give a big shout out to Godesi and Joseph Neff. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because why not? Number 5 the Wondrous Crowned Crocodile 255 million years ago in Russia, there was a very strange omnivorous monstrosity called Estemenosuchus mirabilis. This translates to Wondrous Crowned Crocodile. It was named this because of a pair of bony knobs projecting from each side of its cranium. It gave the animal the appearance of wearing a crown of bones. It was like antlers, but not nearly as long or pointy. Now don't let the name confuse you because this thing wasn't a crocodile. In fact, it wasn't anything close to a crocodile. If anything, the creature was more like a prehistoric hippopotamus. It walked on four legs slightly above the ground, could live on land but also enjoyed being in the water, and it could kill and eat live animals or just munch on plants to survive. It could grow to be roughly 10 feet long, but the largest part of the animal was its head one-fifth of its entire body at over two feet in length. Number 4. The Bulldog Abelisaurid A team of researchers from both Egypt and America recently discovered an entirely new kind of dinosaur in the Sahara Desert of Egypt. The dinosaur belongs to the family of Abelisaurid, a group of ancient theropods. Theropods are defined by hollow bones and three-toed limbs, kind of like chickens, and were the apex predators of the Cretaceous era around 98 million years ago. This particular dinosaur was about 20 feet long, ate nothing but meat, and had a strange, ugly face. Its face was kind of smashed in, similar to a bulldog, but it walked around on its hind legs and it had small teeth along with short, flailing arms. This was a remarkable discovery for two main reasons. First of all, the fact that the scientists found a new species is always very exciting. Second, because no other Abelisaur dinosaur has ever been found in northern Africa. These dinosaurs have only been found in Europe and in the southern hemisphere. It was dug up back in 2016 during an expedition, 
but it took six years of investigating the bones to verify it as a new species. It's now one of the ugliest, or rather weirdest looking carnivores from the Cretaceous era. The dinosaur lived in a part of the world that would have been entirely terrifying. According to Hisham Salam from the American University in Cairo, it lived in a densely populated area of carnivores. The Sahara Desert was home to one of the highest concentrations of predators in the prehistoric world, and scientists are still trying to work out how they all live together in such a small place without killing each other. Number 3. Armored Herbivores Canadian paleontologists recently analyzed the fossilized stomach contents from a remarkably preserved nodosaur. The nodosaur was a peculiar type of ankylosaur, one that lived 110 million years ago during the Cretaceous. It lived in what is now Alberta and the Canadian prairies. It was essentially an armored tank and was covered in bony osteoderms. These are quite similar to the structures which make up turtle shells. You might say that ankylosaurs were just humongous turtles with clubs for tails. In a way, you'd be right. They first appeared in the Middle Jurassic and lived until around the time of the asteroid impact that killed off the dinosaurs. This particular specimen was found totally by accident in March of 2011 by an excavator at the Suncor Millennium Mine. The accidental discovery turned out to be the find of a lifetime. The dinosaur was preserved beyond anyone's wildest imagination. It still had much of its soft tissue, including its scales and the keratin-like material covering its bony armor. Plus, it still had stuff in its stomach. Researchers from the local university were able to look at what the nodosaur had for its last meal. What they found is that the dinosaur really liked eating leaves. 88% of its diet was leaf material, with the rest being mostly stems and wood and charcoal. 85% of the leaves it ate were ferns. This great big tank of a monster had just eaten a belly full of ferns before something killed it. Then, somehow, its body got trapped in the muck in such a way that it hardly decomposed. Number 2. The Giant Short-Faced Kangaroo The Procoptodon golia is an extinct type of kangaroo from the Pleistocene period, and while it may have had a body similar to the kangaroos we know today, it was quite different. The main difference was that it had a short face. Its face was kind of flat like a pug, and it didn't have a long snout like normal kangaroos today. This was an absolute beast of a creature. It was the most heavily built kangaroo that scientists have ever found, short and stocky with a single large toe on each foot and clawed fingers for scraping branches. It was almost like a Neanderthal mixed with a kangaroo. It's not clear why the Procoptodon golia died out while modern kangaroos survived. It lived in the same habitats, in the windswept sand dunes and treeless wastelands of New South Wales. But it just didn't make the cut. It went extinct along with every other subspecies of short-faced kangaroo. Number 1. Brigmo Visitor The Brigmo Visitor was a kind of prehistoric whale with teeth. You may have heard that whales used to have four legs, and that's true. Whales did at one point walk on land, and it took quite some time for them to actually shed their legs once they moved into the water. But what a lot of people don't realize is that they also had jaws full of teeth that they could use to rip apart fish and squid and even other whales. Although little is known about the behavior of Brigmo Visitor, scientists have made some educated guesses. The creature may have used echolocation to track down prey, but there's no actual evidence. Some scientists have also suggested it swam in pods like modern whales, but that's also nothing but speculation. One thing scientists also speculate is that the Brigmo Visitor was one of the main things on the menu for the prehistoric Megalodon. Both were swimming in the ocean at the same time during the Miocene and in the same waters. Considering the Megalodon was the biggest and most ferocious shark that ever lived, it wouldn't be hard for it to hunt prehistoric whales even if those whales did have teeth. In fact, most scientists agree the Megalodon was a whale hunting expert. Thanks for watching! Which of these crazy extinct monsters do you think was the coolest? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more videos like these. Bye!